Hey everybody and welcome back to another game of Classic Fix. So far we've been having a very good season. I've played four total games since the ladder reset. Two first places, two second places, hoping to keep all of that good luck coming into this game. I got the blue troops, I got quite a lot here up in uh, <laughs> Asia, and white slouchy leaf. And I don't think I've ever seen somebody, this is the Ukraine flag, I don't know that I've ever seen anyone from the Ukraine, but they manage to get on their very first turn, Australia. And we'll see if anybody has anything to say about it. It's 60 second timer, global domination, fixed balanced dice, novice to grandmaster, alliances are on, and we will see uh, what we get as this game progresses. Where is black going to attempt to go? I think Africa is probably a very safe place. Looks like red is going here. Purple will be going here. I don't know what green is going to do. I think green is going to fight me for Europe. And I think they have a, I think green actually can seriously say that Europe is for them. Um, just because they have so many more troops that they're going to be able to pull into here very quickly. How about an alliance? Sure thing. Now I'm going to try to go for it and see if I can deter green. But if green wants to come for it, hey, I can't really get a good card anywhere. How about an alliance? How about I quickly try to roll this out first? I have failed. All right, who wants an alliance? You got it, boss. All right, I got to take here. And I want to make sure that I get my fortify in. I'm bringing these guys down. I'm trying to get these guys closer to Europe. Now, let's see if green can test me. I think they have a serious claim to Europe. But maybe they have somewhere else on their mind. Ah! <laughs> he loses. All right. Great. <laughs> if I didn't go for Europe, I wonder... Uh, no, he just he would have done this. He's just hitting white. He's just hitting white because white has Australia. White says, oops, did I take Australia too fast? Oh, great. Wait, you missed. There's a two. How did he miss? He could have hit white. <laughs> Beautiful. So red is going for South America. I got four in there that are probably trapped. Okay, cool. So I can at least roll these up. Yeah, red seems friendly enough. So I possibly can get all of these guys to Europe, but it's, you know, it's close. Let's see what purple decides to do. Wait, purple's not going for North America? No! <laughs> okay, fine, I'll go for North America. Okay, fine, uh, fine. You want Europe? Fine, I'll go for North America. I'm close to North America. Uh, you added up here, though, on your first turn, didn't you? Isn't, wait... <laughs> Wait, didn't you add everybody up here? I'm, I am confused. Okay, so I'm going to try to pivot to North America to try to get out of Purple's way. Unless they think these guys are coming all the way through into North America. Maybe that's what they are thinking. I mean, so, okay, new plan... If you're going for Europe, then that means these guys are coming this way. So you're not going to be upset when I take value here. And then move these guys closer to North America, okay? Because purple, you're going here, right? So these guys are going to come through this way and get out of my way. That's how we're going to work it out? I'll go for North America. Let's see if we can work it out. We have, we have some issues starting out this game, but I don't think they're unsolvable, assuming we are reasonable people here. <laughs> but I will wait to see. Either purple should run in and go here, but now obviously red thinks that's for them. But they're going for South America, so I don't really mind this. So even though they have a lot in North America, these are coming down, and we don't know our relationship with the South America player, so I'm going to try to be nice to them. No, you are going for North America? Which one is it? No, you're going for Europe. Okay, cool, cool. That's fine. <laughs> okay, that is fine. We can we can work this out. Okay, you can come into Europe and I'll take North America. However you want to slice it, my man. <laughs> the Australia player is also going for South America. I think they think red is going for North America, and they have the opportunity to steal South America. But that's not how this works. 
Oh, gosh. Okay, so this is going to be wild. So I, I am confirming... That that's that's the deal, okay? You want Europe. It's it's very obvious. So I come in here now, and then I pop my five up here because I'm gonna try to get out, okay? You come in, you come in, I go out. Now everybody's happy. Green is gonna just always hit white. Green is still a human. They've added the why is it you head into the Ukraine? You're supposed to just be hitting white and fighting for Australia and then until you die. That's who you are. Why would you why would you hit me there? <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. Why do you why did you put a three in there? What is going through your mind? Why did you do that? I don't I don't know why you did it. So red is gonna go down and fight white. And this is actually pretty amazing because now South America, if the, oh no, I hate you, red. No, go fight white for the stupid South America. Red is a bully. He's not gonna let me get North America. So purple is bullying me out of Europe. But he's, he's not letting me get into North America. Sense. Nothing has made sense so far. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. <laughs> oh, God. I, I can't take this lobby, dude. I'm in the super noob lobby for real, for real. I, I, I'll give you out this lobby, dude. Uh, so I think what we're doing here is we're just trying to survive. I think we have a lot of beginner to novice level players, and we are here to survive. Please knock this five out so that maybe I can kill red. That'd be sweet. Okay, hit the two. Sure thing. Knock this five out, would you, man? <laughs> it would really help me out. Purple is just going to hit this eight. Like, I don't even know. I don't even know what to do. So what I think I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to, I'm trying to, like, Indicate that I'm trying to go through here, but just in case purple is gonna hit it I don't know. I'm, just, I'm signaling to purple to come through I'm spending this just in case purple is gonna hit it recklessly. I don't even know. I'm leaving my mid east stack where it is I'm trying to like purple. I'm trying to signal to purple like come through I don't know that we're reaching them Green turns in, green's big, and green is going for Australia. He was waiting for this turn in his whole life. Ooh. <laughs> so green is going to be able to take Australia. The white's like, hey, can we be cool? I don't think so. I don't think that's how going for Australia works. I don't think it's about being cool and making friends. I think it's about winning an impossible battle. All right, and they just fortify down. Okay, don't do any more damage to the two or the three. Will white content themselves to this? Okay, red adds them all down there. Red survives. Red was looking in bad shape. Red's gonna take white out. Okay, so we're looking for a kill on white, which is not very profitable. White bots out. Oh dear, now, okay, so there's a new South America bully <laughs> in town, and his name is Red. So it is a bot, so you don't have to hit that five because it is a bot, but you could hit it because it's so fun to hit big numbers. Holy cow. Punches all the white out of there. So white is like a very easy kill. Purple can, it's actually not, it's annoying for purple to try to get it actually because you have to hit this three and then probably a bunch of these other ones to get the kill. So purple probably doesn't, especially for one card. I could kill white. It's just kind of annoying. So I'm actually killing six to get one card. Hopefully they come in. Please come in and don't hit my seven. Just pick where you want to be. Cool, cool. Now get out the way. Get out the way. Get out the way. Yes! Woohoo! Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. Don't split! Don't split! Don't split! No! I'm through! I'm through! I'm through! I'm going through! <laughs> I'm going through! You don't have to hit my seven. Oh. Nobody's good. <laughs> you guys are all bad. Let me through, bro. Why is everybody bad? 
So I think the secret to winning this, and I really do want to win because it's a new, <laughs> it's a new season, and I don't want to get messed up by a bunch of noobs. The secret here is to just kind of quietly stay out of the way because these guys are going to hammer town. This is not. I need to come up with an amazing play and outplay somebody. This is an I gotta stay out of the way and let these guys slam as hard as they want into each other kind of game. So I take this. Ooh, yeah. I save Greenland. Uh, I cannot save Greenland. I use Greenland. Uh. I'm going to get out of the way here. Just This is where I'm going to get my card. I'm just going to get out of the Middle East. I don't want to block anybody in. Look, I'm sorry, but I need to attack your territory. Yes or no? Will you let me out or not? Are you going to let me out or not? I'm not. Otherwise, I should like try to run away. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. I don't trust him. I don't trust him. I'm out. 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 I panicked. I panicked. I panicked and I did a bunch of attacks. I went a little psycho there, but I'm like, don't hit my troops. I'm out. Okay. Okay. Are we cool? Like, can we talk? Can we talk? The silent type. It's all right. That's fine. All right. There goes white. A pretty easy kill for green. So obviously I didn't need to do this extra attack. If I had realized that I was just gonna run and I could have gone and stayed in the Middle East, but okay, I'm just kind of out of the way and I'm gonna be chilling. All right, I'm just gonna, you, I'm gonna be out the way. You guys can keep going nuts. When red has a bunch of cards, maybe I look for a kill on red. So I probably try to get a card in Japan here at some point. Green's also pretty weak. Purple is somehow strong. Red is going to be, or sorry, black is going to be very strong. Let's see what red does. They probably try to bully me in North America, even though I got so many more troops. <laughs> I, what is red going to do? You did it. You got South America. Now what? What was the next step of the, the evil plan that red has concocted here? You, you made sure white got fed to another place. Is it you bought out? You fought somebody to the death for South America. You got what you want, and now you're gonna bot out? You just wanted to do it. It was just it was just a matter of valor. Yo, I totally got South America. Did you guys see that? I totally won. All right, let me go see if I can get South America in the next game. Is that what's happening? Why'd you fight for it so hard if you didn't want to play as soon as you got it? I don't get it. But I think Red is botting out. We're taking an exceptionally long turn. Okay, red is a bot, and the bot is going to go this way and obviously be annoying here. Okay, so we got to kill red if we want to get a continent. I don't know if I want a continent. Let's see how black plays this. Black has been staying out of trouble for the most part. Sorry, it's purple's turn. Purple goes before black. So purple, I expect, will take Europe, right? Like... That's, that's kind of how you've been playing. And I expect you not to be good neighbor. I expect that you'll leave that 14 there. No, you're slow? I don't get it, man. So purple, I think, hates me. Otherwise, they would have talked back to me, I think. I think they hate me. What country is this? Do they speak the language of, of love in your country? I send you hearts, you, you tell me nothing? Okay, black takes Africa. Ah, okay, and stacks against the bot. This is actually a very friendly way to do it. Hmm. So green should, if they don't have cards, they should avoid opening up my stack. I'm just going to stay put right here, waiting for an opportunity to potentially take out red. Black, I think, might be a decent player, the only other decent player in this lobby. So maybe if I take out red, I get to keep South America. I'm not really sure. Green does not turn in. Hopefully they open my stack. If they're not... Ah, okay, they are turning in. Hopefully they leave me alone. But they could do anything. They could add here. They could add here. Nothing would surprise me. <laughs> okay, it's a sensible play would be to just grab a card in Asia. And call it a day. They take Japan. Makes enough sense to me. Keep going. Open me up. 
All right, a very sensible turn by green. All right. Cool. Red, who should still be a bot. I guess I should kill the bots, but the question, I guess, is when. The bot's going to spread through North America now. You would expect? Hmm. Okay. Okay. So nothing much happening there. Purple is not taking Europe quickly, which is a surprise to me. I'm trying to consider if I should eliminate the bot from North America and invite Black to do it. The problem is I also then invite them if I don't have a turn in. Oh, I do have a turn in. I'm inviting them to hit my stack. They do go for it. Cool. 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 All right, so they can have that. That kill's not really worth it to me. So they get it when they can make a turn in. So that makes a lot of sense for their game. So I think that worked out well for them. And now hopefully they decide where they want to go. Hopefully they trust me. And hopefully they let me take North America. Okay, that's trustworthy. So they don't, they're saying that they don't know about me. Cool, yeah, we're, we're very cool, we're very cool. I'm gonna let him get his three out. Cool, I'm gonna let him get his three out. I'm just gonna start indicating my desire, but I'm gonna let him get the three out. I give him a path out. So he can get his three out on his next turn and then I'll take all of this. And I will trust Black. I think Black has played a reasonable game thus far. I've identified him as, as maybe the most likely that I'll be able to work with. He stacks here internally, not threatening my border at all because he doesn't know about me. Hopefully he gets his three out on the next turn and we're all good to go here. And then I think purple and green, who knows Who knows what they're on about? <laughs> I think green will be the turtle. No. <gasps> green is gonna mess with me. Oh, wow. Oh, that's wild. So if I take North America now, green is going for Asia, right? Green is messing with me now? Why, bro? <laughs> Why are you messing with me? So black's very strong. They are going to take a card off me, which is mildly annoying, but also very understandable. Hmm. So do I even try to take North America? Black will give it to me. I cannot communicate. Oh, oh, cool. That was actually very nice. They're oh, well. All right. So I actually don't know if I can trust purple. I can trust black. He did sneakily kind of open purple up to me. But let's very slowly take this. I can, for at least for now, take cards in Asia. But I'm going to show complete trust to purple, even though they are literally not communicating with me. And I'm going to put everybody here against green. I don't think green will turn in and hit a 33. They would be absolutely insane to do so. Let's try to make an alliance. Oh, and we didn't get to know our players. White, who's already out, is Slouchy Leaf. Black is Julian Fuji. Green accepts, which hopefully means you're moving this 14 away, right? General the Manly. You're not going to just keep adding to a Kamchatka stack, would you? Guillermo was our player with red, and purple is Adron Araki. Unbelievable. <laughs> He's Kim Chaka stacking on me. So it's fine because I can still take cards and outproduce you as long as purple doesn't mess with me. And this is the only one they can hit. Oh, good. So purple's not messing with me, which is really good. I was not sure at all about their level. But them not messing with me is great. Is green going to actually turn in and fire into Alaska? Or are you just Kim Chaka stacking? What is happening? <laughs> cool. Oh, so he's opening green stack. Oh, cool. So I can actually sneak right behind. So I need to keep this position alive. But also leave enough that green stays worried. 
I'll give green a card because I'm such a nice guy. Green can now take cards over here if they want to. And we got to keep our eye on this guy. He's Kamchatka stacking against my North America. Oh, he's going to blast the seven? No, no, he must have more troops, right? Okay, he's turning in for eight. He is going to blast the seven. He's, ag he's actually going for Asia. He's, he's going to take Asia. He's going to take Asia. Who's going to stop him? Oh, no, he doesn't hit my eight. He does hit my eight. This psycho is going for Asia. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, okay. Surely purple will hit him. Surely. Uh, attack green. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. He knocks my stack out and black stack out. Surely purple will hit him, right? So the turn order here actually is great, because if we need to mess with green, I get to see what black is going to do before deciding if I want to go psycho on this fella's 18 up there and just say, no, that's not cool. Cool. So I can very easily just teach this guy a lesson. But I can also chill out. And if I chill out, other people will fight green. And I have a secret trade in I'm not telling anybody about. So I'm actually not going to take a card here. I could hit the 18, which is obviously very costly. But it would send a powerful message, which sometimes... You, such messages need to be sent. But I think these other guys are just going to pulverize green. Who is still messing about. Okay. So he's still trying to set these little blockades. Even though green now is so much weaker than everybody else. They're still going to try it. I mean, it's just ridiculous play. <laughs> And the rest of the world is not going to put up with it. But I think if I stay out of it, these other players are going to are going to get into the mess of it. So maybe they can do my dirty work. And then as a secret joke, I've had a trade in this whole time. I can turn I can use my wild card if I want to turn in for 8 at some moment. <sighs> so I think I'm going to signal to him no, I'm not going to signal to green. You think what? You think green does? No, because what green's going to do if I do nothing is he's going to fill this in and leave a bunch of garbage for other people to hit. So I'm not going to signal, sorry, I got to hit your 18. Because I know what he's going to do. He's going to add to like one of these positions and he's going to go into Afghanistan and he's going to leave six here, six here, three here, and he's going to force other people to hit him. And these other people are going to hit him because they're so much bigger. No, he's just going to mess with black. He's just messing with black? No, okay. He's just messing with me. So he's content to just mess with me. Okay. That's so wild. <laughs> but we, what might happen here? I think green is going to die next. I don't think there's any way green gets away with this kind of pesky behavior without having higher production than anybody else. So I don't think green's going to get away with it. I think black is going to be good and very patient. But maybe p purple will be too. But I think in the end game, if it's me, purple, and black, I actually think these two will fight each other. I think purple will start a war with black. Especially if black is s the strongest. My general read is that black is some, you know, decent player. Maybe you don't even need to have this 22 here. You know, intermediates or expert level is kind of my general guess for black. And maybe, purple's either a beginner or an intermediate, in my mind. I got him kind of on that slightly lower range. So I think what a certain player might do is they very aggressively hold all these borders. I put purple as a beginner, just based on the way that they, they don't communicate and they don't let me, <laughs> they didn't really let me out and I had to run away. But sometimes the beginners in the end will just kind of go in full force into whoever's the strongest for fear 
I'm not sure if I'm explaining it right, but experience dictates to me that if I don't do anything, I have a, a really good chance in this end game, so I choose not to change the situation. If I thought the read was a little bit different, if I thought you know I needed to get to an end game with different players, I'm always trying to figure out who do I want to get to the end game with. If I thought it was something different, I would make like different moves to try to. If I want, if I thought green was gonna just fight against black or just against purple, maybe I'd want to keep green and whoever green has beef with, which could be black. So they are messing with black. They give up on messing with me. Ah, and they're now just messing with black. So green and black in the end game. Well, I mean, green is just gonna be a wild card in any end game if they can make it that long. What is purple doing? Why did you add 11 there? <laughs> it's, you're definitely, at this point, you can, you can feel comfortable adding to one giant stack. But there's such a border berry. So they're not really thinking about kind of the long-term consequences here. So black, if they want a card, hits a three and opens the 36. Okay, so I'm not going to use my trade-in. These guys will never know. Ha ha, you guys will never know that I had a trade-in this whole time. Okay, so I'll take my card here. I got another cannon. <laughs> so nobody should be able to kill me. And I, I, green, I don't think you should mess with black, but you know what? I implore you to give it a try. Go ahead and leave like 10 here or something. What would an annoying person do? Hit here and leave 10 and then back everybody else off? Green might just go into black or something. They might just they might just make a full stack. What is green doing? Green is playing out of their mind. They are so wild. I'd be so scared if I were black. If I'm black, I'm almost like, I gotta take this guy out because he's gonna take me out. What is this? <laughs> Why do you have 11 and 21? I don't know what purples, I, I, I this whole game has been just mysterious to me. <laughs> I don't understand these strategies that these players are employing. Black, black, I at least understand most of their ideas. So are they worried about the 50? I don't think so. Okay. Ah, uh, they are. They're going to let that run all the way through. I bet green takes South America. <laughs> I'll turn these guys in just to be less scary. Is green going to run in and break me? I mean, so be it, but I don't think I'd defend against it at all. I mean, so be it. <laughs> just take Japan. Okay. Let's see if green does anything wild. Stack in the Middle East, dude. Pop and stack in the Middle East. Just mess with black. That's, that's the annoying thing. And then stay and black is so mad. Yeah, he doesn't break. <laughs> he doesn't break. He stack, let's go. So black got out of the Middle East, so green takes it. <laughs> Purple leaves their stack only aimed at green, but I don't I don't know. They're not they're not really contemplating activity of their stack. I would have taken a card up here if I was purple, so that this stack has more mobility. I'd also be trying to make as big of a Ukraine stack as possible. Okay. Huh. I got 93. But I keep, I mean, I'm obviously keeping green alive because green is great. Green's, green's hilarious. I can theoretically kill green whenever I want. Green might have a turn in. So they're going to be just getting cards back here, it looks like. This is actually great. Black is not even letting green even potentially come into me. Sure, yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? Oh, you are going to hit me after all. Dude, but I can... Yeah, okay, whatever. 
Good, all right, good job. And now go break South America, right? Go break South America. <laughs> Maximal nuisance. You know, we all play for different reasons. I think some people are just out here trying to have a good time. And you know what? <laughs> oh, man. I didn't see it coming. You're not taking North America. I, 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 ref I regret to inform you, Green, that you will not be taking North America in this game, okay? I just would like to let you know that I will not be accepting the Australia position. I will be taking back North America. Just count up the troops and don't slam into me, dude. <laughs> I will not. Uh, whatever, I dirt him. I can't kill green. Here's your chance to get out, buddy. I'm going to be taking North America back. I'm just, hey, I'm just going to let you know I'm going to take North America back. You can have Australia. I don't mind too much about that. Keep going. Hey, I don't know if you saw, I got a 104. Cool. I think he's actually getting out. So he's just being like... As annoying as possible. Oh, he's just going to slam me? All right. Well, I'm not going to accept the Australia position. <laughs> All right. Good game. <laughs> uh, oh, you're sorry. You're offline. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Proper form is thumb that's down breaks alliance. I don't accept your bot out. Okay, and we'll enter into this thing where I'm actually, I'm, I'm weak going into this. Black is very strong, but we've been very friendly. I could settle for a second place here, probably take purple with me. I'm not even strong enough to really kill purple. We'll see how black does this. I bet black can kill green. Let's see. They are going to go take Australia, which is a bit of a wild play. No, they should just get their stack active at least. Huh. All right, so I've, I'm going to feed this green kill to whoever is lucky enough to get it. Congrats. I'm not able to get it. And I'm going to try to play friendly into this end game. We'll make sure green gets eliminated next. I'm going to keep my stack back out here. So before green went out, he threw a bunch of troops into me. That's fine. I take back nothing. I regret none of my decisions. All right. And so I think somebody should kill green. Let's tell purple to just kill green. Let's just give him some good advice. You know what? Let's help him out. Let's start this three-player endgame on a good note. Let me give you some good advice. Kill green. And then we'll see what happens. I, and I want purple to do it, because then they'll end up with Australia. They'll know that I'm cool with it. Uh, excuse me? All right, you got it. Okay, so they are going to be able to kill green. Well done. Cool. And we'll see how this endgame goes. So I'm the weakest... Black's the strongest, but purple's right behind. And now let's do some back backstabbery. Whatever. I was going to say thumbs up, thumbs down. You know the deal. I'm asking black if they want to hit purple. Yes. Cool. And let's see how this goes. They all come back to the Ukraine. So he doesn't even, okay, he's, he doesn't, he's not too worried about 
Australia, which actually is like a higher level play. Not everybody would just give up Australia. Let's see how black interprets let's attack purple. Hopefully he steals Australia. Okay, he just gets a very big active stack, which could be aimed at me. So he could be telling me, you better hit purple now or I'm going to hit you. If I choose not to interpret it that way. Okay, I guess we're waiting a turn. He didn't really hit purple, so I'm not really going to hit purple. Black could end me here. This might I might get a third place in this one. This is going to be tough. These two are relatively the same strength. But now maybe purple will try to keep Australia, which will make it interesting. No, they're not. Okay. They're just going to keep defending all the borders. Very cool. Cool. Now, hopefully this sets purple off. So black's saying, okay, no, nobody gets it. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, so nobody gets it. I'm going to stay right here. I don't think anybody's going to break me. I keep my stack open. I'm on four cards. I need to make sure that oh, I'm not going to get a trade in. Black is trading. I mean, black, like, could kill me. Okay, purple is going to insist upon it. So black just said no. Okay, nobody gets it. I don't get it. You don't get it. Nobody gets it. But purple says no, I get it. And now they defend it. Ah, so now purple wants it. And it's black that has broken them before. So is black going to insist? Don't, don't kill me. Oh, wow. So purple, he said no. Nobody gets it. Amazing. Attack black, attack purple. Those do appear to be the options. <laughs> Let's see if that's the right play. Nobody can really kill me. I have to hold five cards. So I think purple is going to go into black. Cool. And it was all over Australia. It was all over this desire to hold Australia. Okay, so they're not actually going to do anything. Interesting. Okay, so if I want to progress the game, I got to actually work with one of these guys. We're not going to just, we're not going to go too, too crazy into each other. Understand. I understand. Nope, just kidding. We are going into each other. No, he still hates purple. You broke the rule. You took Australia. Ah. Uh, I need a close that I can... Wait. It's so close. If I kill purple... It's kind of close. Black says attack purple, but he can't do anything to me. I am going to be scared when black can do something serious to me. I mean, he can break my continent. But he can't hit my stack. Black stacks are only aimed at purple, so I'm not scared. I would, like, feel more impulse to need to do what black says. Oh, well, now they're kind of aimed at me. So if they really want to teach me a lesson for not helping them, they can do that. But I don't suspect that's what's going to happen. And they should probably avoid ending their turn on five cards. No, nah, but I don't know. I'm not going to be able to kill them. So now Black doesn't know what to do. He does turn in. So everybody makes the turn in. Maybe he teaches me a lesson about not helping. Or maybe... He just takes second place now because things are too far. He can get there. You can make the kill. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. If you're playing for second, that's a really weird way to do it. <laughs>
You think you're gonna kill purple and then win this end game? So you broke me? All right, that's fair enough. I think that he thought maybe he would have a chance in this end game. I hope you don't fail. Don't make me make the decision. I hope you get it. I don't want to make the decision. Because <laughs> it would be so rude to give black second. Well played. Let's see if we can do this. So we just kind of stayed out of the way there in that end game. And with that, we should be able to win our third game of the season. We'll hit him with a good game because I think we're going to be fast enough to knock all of this out and get another victory. So this should bring us into the top 200. I think we temporarily were after our last game, but hopefully we are back. Good game. Well played. And hopefully... You did enjoy it. Let's get to know who we were playing with. I think black was higher than purple, and I think green was a novice. Those are my big guesses. Red was probably a beginner or a novice as well. A uh, really fun game where everything was just wacky, wild. Nothing really made sense out of that opening. And, of course, it was a beginner. Intermediates. Okay, they were a little higher. Somehow, green we pegged as a novice. Red was a novice. Purple was a beginner. And if you like it, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. Helps me out a ton. See you next time.